very last, I'm going to talk about some features that is uh, not yet available on the um, on the um, uh, capture app if you install it. But we already built the backend support, and and we will be releasing this feature is in the um, in the coming uh, weeks. Um, the, as the backend is already ready, uh, running a 239 version of DJ, DHS will allow you to install the feature when it becomes ready on the App Hub. Um, the first one I'm going to mention is um, the relationship handling or relationships uh, for uh, fields for display, um, where we have built a new um, configuration um, model where you can, uh, uh, relationship by relationship, decide what fields you want to include in, in the display for relationships in the Capture App. Um, this is uh, not released yet, but the backend has been ready from 238, and we are uh, about to release this uh, functionality in the Capture App. Um, and um, the last step, which is not ready yet, uh, is uh, adding this to the maintenance UI as well, allowing uh, the user controlling this. Um, another feature that um, is, uh, is built in 239 and will soon be released is tracker program stage working lists. It will now be possible to make a um, working list based on events in a tracker program, um, which will allow combining uh, data element values and tracked entity attributes uh, in one list. Uh, it will allow filtering and sorting based on both data and uh, tracked entity attribute values. Um, and um, these lists will be stored and operate like other working lists. Uh, this is one of the first features uh, that will have uh, what we call feature toggling, meaning that even if you use the latest version of the Capture App, uh, your uh, DHS2 backend will have to be on version 239 in, in order for this feature to be visible to you. Uh, if you install the latest version of the Capture App on 238, uh, you will not see the functionality for these uh, working lists as they require changes that was uh, done in the 239 backend. Um, the last feature um, that is also uh, mentioned because it's soon being released and the backend is ready is, is referrals. Uh, we uh, built uh, backend support in 239 for um, linking two program stages together to form a referral where um, uh, you could, for example, envision a lab a sample being ordered and um, and uh, referred to a lab, uh, and the lab would see the order of the lab sample and they would fill in the lab response and send it back. Um, we have also built um, and planned for uh, back entry use cases, um, and as mentioned, the uh, API support is ready for 239. We are soon releasing it in the latest capture app and. Um, uh, this will work for uh, work. Uh, this uh, functionality will be able uh, available to you if you're running a backend on 239 or, or new. Um, the last thing I'm going to mention is um, some technical enhancements that we uh, is not really visible, but we really want to mention as well. Um, and that is the um, uh, refactoring we have done on the context selector. Um, on the uh, on the top menu here, uh, it's not so easy to see it, but we have done some refactors, and we are in the process of harmonizing this uh, with the data entry uh, data entry app, so that they will look uh, very similar. We have also replaced the component for the organization unit here, so that we will have the same components everywhere. Um, for all tracker queries, we have also now uh, made sure that um, the, the queries going to the backend is done on the new tracker endpoint, as you might have heard of. Um, the tracker endpoints has been re-implemented to be more maintainable and faster, um, more performant, and, and we have now switched to using the new endpoints uh, in the later versions of the Capture App um, for all, um, all calls to the tracker. And, um, uh, we um, we see a, a good effect of that. Um, we have done refactors to components to make them easier to bundle as plugins. Um, so this is also an invisible change, and it will become more visible later when we when we um, um, when we get further on the work of um, 
of uh, plugins and how they're installed and how they can be reused. But uh, we are working on um, making and packaging these components so that they are uh, reusable as plugins. Um, we have enhanced um, several sides of the metadata download to make it faster and do not um, skip downloading of, um, of data that is not needed. Um, uh, and we have also ma made a new feature for um, a max limit of records that um, can be re returned from the API. So it's possible to set in the, in the DHS config file um, how many records uh, we are uh, maximum returning from the API endpoints uh, to avoid the most extreme uh, queries um, done to the, to the API. Uh, 